All right, so what we have here is a late 60s Tiesco shark fin. Right here we have four pickups. Uh, it's supposed to have a whammy bar. This whammy does work if I press down on it. You have to press down on it pretty hard. It's missing the whammy bar. And over here, this, these are switches which turn each of these pickups off and on. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, this switch is where it gets a little interesting. There are a couple capacitors in here that change the sound. It basically just kind of rolls the tone off all the way, which is kind of useless. It's kind of just confusing, you know, because you try to, I always like to just use this knob over here, but this is designed to have like a rhythm solo bass sound. It's basically just controlling which each of these pickups go through the capacitor. Now I'm calling this a Tiesco, but really it's probably the silver tone version of the Tiesco. It's actually a really good playing guitar. I would love to be able to play this guitar in a band, but the pickups just howl so much when you have a lot of gain. Even on low gain settings, if you're playing at like a band level volume, they tend to be microphonic. And I'm probably gonna be taking out one of these pickups and wax potting it and see if that helps. It's just a, I think it's a really pretty guitar. It kind of, kind of reminds me of Christmas. When I got this guitar, it was really dirty and I did my best to clean it up. I really like it. It kind of has like a Mustang style bridge, which means that sometimes the strings can move if you're really playing really fast. It would probably be better if it was a different type of bridge, but in this era of guitars, I mean, this is pretty much what you'd find on a Mustang or Jazz Master. I think I'm gonna to try to build a whammy bar because this thing, this nut right here just screws off and you just need something that is an appropriate length that doesn't look like crap and drill a hole through it and then just put the nut back on. So it would be really easy to make a whammy bar for this. We're gonna do some clean tones, which is what most people use these for, and then we're gonna tip off the high gain. I think it sounds great, the high gain. It's just so bad that it hums, but who knows if it will sound as good with the pickups potted. I'm gonna pot probably one pickup just to test it. It's a beautiful guitar, I love it. It's kind of like a guitar that Jack White might try to use. When I saw how dirty the guitar was, some of these Tiescos don't get much love. It just kind of makes me feel sorry for it. I'm like, oh, it's just such a cute little guitar. 